here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. See, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday. You ready? ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. And a nice left hand there on the inside. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Just out of range with that right hand. Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the stand for this kick. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Watch triangle, watch triangle. All right, so he postures up and he's out. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, nice. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 26 total strikes have now landed for Anthony Smith. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Right punches there. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Straight punch lands. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just missed with the left there. Overhand is good. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, misses with the jab. Connects with the right. Oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to go forward. Very bad. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, he might be out. Oh, beautiful 
jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Jab hurt him a little bit. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, you see. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, it has been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. A oh, big right hook, but a whiff. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands through the middle. Lands with the right hand. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lance on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Ooh, head kick Lance is hurt. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. Yes, Uppercut to the head instead is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Yeah. Try to establish that jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, so a near perfect entry there. And finally, he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Was able to get him down. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Oh! Posturing up now. Nicely done. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. 
Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Joy gets caught with that punch. Oh, stiff jab in the face. There's another. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your class. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has some mission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, go posture again. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic... Oh! Troy's got the full mount. Oh! Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here. He had hurt. Wow! Oh, what a sweep! Choi gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. There's the swing and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Just misses with that one. Single ball to tie now. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Big punch man's over the top. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight.
Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout?